Yes, people. Pioneer in the hip-hop game, Kid Creole, has been sentenced to 16 years in prison after stabbing a homeless man that the prosecution alleged he thought was gay in New York City. Nathaniel Glover, a.k.a. Kid Creole, stabbed 55-year-old John Jolly in Manhattan in 2017. Glover was convicted of first-degree manslaughter last month and has been sentenced to 16 years and five years supervision after release. He pleaded not guilty while his attorneys argued the attack was in self-defence. He stabbed Mr Jolly in the chest with a state knife after it's alleged the man was hitting on him on his way to his maintenance job in the city around midnight August 2017. Authorities said Mr Jolly asked him what's up. He was later found by a tourist and was transported to the hospital where he died. Kid Creole admitted pulling out a kitchen knife and thrusting it into the body of a stranger on the street. Kid Creole condemned his reputation as a killer at his sentencing saying, I'm very disappointed in the way that this whole situation played out. I have been portrayed as a callous, senseless killer, which is far from the person who I am. I have been slandered and all this made me seem as if I'm a person who actually has no remorse or no repentance. Before being locked up, Glover had been living by himself in a Bronx apartment and working in a copy shop just a few blocks from the incident. Glover fled the scene and went to his office where he washed the knife and later disposed of it in a sewer at a Bronx subway station about 15 minutes later. Police recovered the weapon the next day when he was arrested and charged with second degree murder in connection with a stabbing. He has been in custody at Rikers Island ever since. Carole told the authorities in a taped interview that he was a little annoyed in thinking that Mr Jolly was seeking a romantic encounter according to the Rolling Stone magazine. Mad one there, people. Rest in peace to the victim, Mr. John Jolly, anyway. But like, comment, subscribe. Check back for more, yeah? Peace.